Hi guys, I'm Stuffies. I wanted to do a short video on how you can make your uh, war zone look much nicer. So to do this, it requires you to have a NVIDIA graphics card. So me, it's a GTX something something. <laughs> what, why are you laughing? Stop laughing. What, what's wrong with that? Top of his head. In order to do it, um, again, as, as I said, you must have, Look in order to do lips. it, you gotta have a, an NVIDIA graphics card, because that's the way you can apply the NVIDIA game filter to it. So I'm just gonna hop in a game to show you what it looks like without. So here we are in bland old war zone. It kind of looks like dark not super vibrant kind of washed out in general and to fix this we can press alt z to turn on our nvidia overlay and remember if you don't have an nvidia graphics card this won't work so i'm going to press alt z and i'll bring out something that looks like this what the heck oh okay um we don't talk about that Anyway, as I'm waiting to start this match, um, I'll press Alt-Z to show you what it, how it works. So when you press Alt-Z, it's going to bring up this overlay. You want to press Game Filter. This is what goes over it. Now you can select a Game Filter. Um, currently it's off, but I... Okay, it's loading. Currently it's off, but I chose mine to be 3, just so it's like easy. And as you see, it completely changes how the game looks. Now to show my filters, these are the things I use. Exposure at 0%, contrast at 13%. Um, the contrast helps make things look a bit more defined. Highlights at negative 80%. This helps remove like the glaring sun you sometimes see, kind of blocks your vision. Shadows minus 80% to help make uh, seeing those rose skins hiding in the shadows much easier. And if you've played Warzone for a while, a while you know why. Gamma, 29%. It just makes it look a bit more bright. Now, under Sharpen. Under Sharpen, I have 50% Sharpen. This will help it make, a, make it look a bit more, like, acute. So you can see the angles better. Ignore Film Grain. I Why is that not? It should be 100%. Ignoring Film Grain allows you to see like things more clearer because sometimes there's visual noise and that often interferes so now i'm going to show you what it looks like in game now in game it'll look something like this uh, and Warzone may look a bit different because I'm just in Modern Warfare for ease of access. I don't really like using Warzone for filming videos. But as you see, it's kind of like dark. There's like the shadows everywhere. It kind of makes your gun look a very black, which is kind of annoying. Even more so in Warzone, I find. Um, the sun is, in, and as you see, the sun kind of like gets in the way. In Warzone, the sun appears to be much brighter for some particular reason, so it's even more disruptive. Personally, I don't like how this looks, so I'm going to press Alt-Z to turn on the filter. So as you see, this is the filters I've, se I've selected. Um, I personally think it looks nice. If not, you can adjust this finally, whatever you want to do. But as you see, there's much less shadows, so if there's like a black skin hiding here, it's, it'll be much easier to see them. As you see, um, everything overall looks much nicer and much more clear in terms of visibility. Um, this is what I like, and if this video helps you, um, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me a lot. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.